Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Me and the Boys series. This is episode 16 and as I'm sure you saw from the title and thumbnail, some a little bit odds going on. Now, did I have something to do with this? Yeah, kinda, kinda. I, I didn't do much, granted. It was mostly um uh, the character himself, Dr. Shu, but I did have something to do with this. In here, it's been revealed now. Wasn't very advanced redstone. Doctor Shu did it. <laughs> I would never make redstone that sloppy. But uh, yeah, down here, pretty much, basically, right? He got kidnapped a while back. If we haven't been keeping up with the series, and well, pretty much, he kidnapped himself, and then and then after kidnapping himself, he came up to me and asked if I could provide a base slash hideout for his carrot revolution. And I was thinking, you know, all right, people have their right to protest or whatever, so yeah, sure, I'll give you a base. So they have been chilling out down here. Now, of course, maybe wondering, why are there potatoes, not carrots? Well, I think uh, perhaps an opposer of the carrot revolution came down here and replaced them all with potatoes. But um, these used to be carrots. Pretend they're carrots. So yeah, they got some science here to do. Begin the revolution. For too long have the people of the realm been eating us. No more, for soon we shall strike back and get our justice. We have pretended to be kidnapped so we can all meet. And now, we prepare for war. And that is exactly what they are doing now. Fortunately though, before they replaced all the carrots with potatoes, most of them had been shipped out to the base camp that we have set out uh, a bit away from the shopping district, where we have also been making some advancements. Also, by the way, I don't really fully know what's going on, actually. I've just been dragged into this by Dr. Shu. <laughs> now, no advancements on the, um, Ology case, if you didn't see last episode. He shot up through the rocket into the portal to try and find Josh, who is stuck in another dimension. It was a whole thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, he has not come back yet. And one of those reasons is because, of course, rescue missions take time. But also, over here, the Carrot Revolution have decided to take over a fairly critical part of the plan. Over here you can see they've taken over this area. Now I actually forgot to show you this last time, but pretty much over here is what used to be the device that Ology was using to kind of control the portal usage, you know? Because I mean last time it was very random, but this, he was using this to like control the way the portals work. So he could controllably get to the other dimension to get Josh, but um now the carrots have destroyed this as part of their revolution. And um, yeah, so he can't get back now. <laughs> so he's probably stuck in the dimension, other dimension or something. I don't know, we'll have to see if he can get back. So uh, yeah, we'll be getting into all of this nonsense a bit later into the episode. Because first, I want to work on this thing over here. Now you, of course, do not know what this is. Uh, I'll pretty much what this is going to be is a kind of central hub for the shopping district, right? This is where the no, portal is, because you can see where the portal currently is. It's a pretty good location, but I mean, it's kind of extended out that way as well. It is pretty central, but also it's kind of just randomly plonked down. and it's like it needs a better spot for it. So it'll be over here, and it'll be inside a building, which will be fairly open. And it'll also have all the crafting stations you could ever need. So if you're on the go, you can just come here, grab a crafting station, or I don't know. If you want to make a map without having to go back to your base, you can just use the cartography table here, or the anvil if you want to name something quickly. Very easy. Have like, you know, um, furnaces, smokers, blast furnaces, all that sort of stuff. And also a place with a ton of beds, so that people can also sleep while they're at the shopping district. And also an infinite water source somewhere, you know, in case you want one of those. Pretty much just have a bunch of stuff that people might want if they're in the shopping district. Not 100% what I'm going to call this place, but um, I do have a design in mind. It's going to be like a kind of a, a wooden, like a wooden house looking thing, like a kind of hut or shack, I guess. And um, yeah, it's just going to be like, yeah, a nice wooden house. It's going to be kind of nice looking, you know, kind of homely, I guess, maybe. And uh, yeah, also, there wasn't quite enough room, so I've had to uh, extend out the hill a bit. That's what all this is. In fact, I haven't actually quite finished this. I have just been um, terraforming this area a bit. Yeah, I'm just been, you know, trying to make it look as natural as possible. But um, uh, it's kind of hard, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Like, I think, I think this looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, we're just going to get right into building this. So of course, first off... We need to build up this 
kill, of course. Alright, I think that all looks pretty good. Let's just close this up. Put one there. Alright, that looks good. Of course, the glass will, um, ow. <laughs> the, gla the glass will go over any dirt areas, but, uh, yeah, I reckon that looks pretty good. And, of course, this stone isn't going to stay here, by the way. This is just a like a marker of where it is going to go. So I've prepared some materials in here. Of course, we have all the wood we're gonna need. I'm sitting for the portal, some water, that's for the chimney. These are all the crafting stations and furnaces and a bit of extra aesthetic items. So I'm just gonna grab those and head over to the shopping district. So first off, I guess we're just gonna get the general sort of layout going. So there'll be four kind of like posts on each corner. And of course, once I've got these in, I can remove these. And actually, that reminds me, this actually isn't a square. It's more of like a slightly L shape. Like uh, it'll kind of come across here and then dip in here or something, something like that and then go over there. So it isn't actually a perfect rectangle. This is just the, the area that I needed. So one for each corner. Alright, we're going to leave that corner, and then we're just going to go in three or four across from here, I guess, to there. Alright, we'll have one here as well. And they're going to go in like five or so, and have one here, and then have one that goes across to there. Alright, so that is the whole shape, right? Kind of comes around here like that. So we can just remove this stone outline, and I'm just going to build up the walls. Alright, so all the walls are up, and this, this is the entrance. Oh, actually, wait a minute, there's meant to be an entrance on that side as well, isn't there? Yeah, I could, let's just mine out this area for the back entrance. Alright, now I'm just gonna connect these posts with some more logs, like this. Just all the way around. Alright, well now we're gonna get in the nether portal on this side, the en this entrance to... So, um, just gonna trace it out. Oh, whoop, didn't mean to break the other side, but, uh, anyway. Alright, so let's get a ceiling. Well, I have a roof on this thing, but we, of course, are gonna start with the ceiling. Alright, so now we've got to get the actual, you know, like, slanted roof on it. So for that, I'm gonna need some slabs. Alright, so just gonna start with, like, the, the brim around the edge, and I just work it up in steps from there, right? Alright, well the roof is finished, looking pretty good, we will, we will actually put a chimney in there a bit later, but first I reckon, let's do the interior a bit, like the walls are a bit unfinished, and also let's put in the floor. Alright, now just like the outside, we are also going to be putting some posts in the inside, so I guess just like this, in each of the corners, and then also having them going across like this as well. And I've also put a bunch of like, wooden log arches in here and all the beds are gonna go like into these slots here. Oh also, uh gonna have a window there. Oh also, rather than having all these torches just strewn all over the place, we'll have them on each of the posts like this. I think that looks pretty nice. Right, so we got the ender chest, crafting table, anvil, stone cutter, grindstone, smithing table, loom, cartography table, and the brewing stand with some blaze powder. That is everything you could possibly need. <laughs> also, we're gonna have the furnaces on this side. I'm not gonna supply fuel because usually people have some kind of smeltable in the item, you know, they can just put it in. Um, also, actually, that reminds me, let's make the chimney now. I'm just gonna have two pieces of cobblestone like that, and then come up like here. Of course, it's now magically one wide, but a two wide chimney would look really weird. I'm just going to place that campfire down and then get some trapdoors around it. Ah, lovely. <laughs> here we're gonna over here. We're gonna have like a little planter box or something on the so on the windowsill. And of course, with some uh, lovely hand picked flowers in it. There we are. I've also put some uh, water source there and a water source there just behind the wall. So if you ever need water, you can just come by and grab it from there. Right, I've got the pile of haste for aesthetics and then a fence here, which is where we're going to be putting our cow in case someone needs milk. Alright, everyone please give a warm welcome to Jeremiah the cow. Happily providing milk for everyone on the realm. Alright, let's light the portal. 
And I think now we're gonna put in some signs, right? Welcome to the shack. By the way, that's what I'm calling this place. I've decided on a name. It's gonna be called the shack. So, welcome to the shack, the base away from base. Feel free to indulge yourself in our free crafting tables, furnaces, please provide your own fuel, water, and accommodation. We hope you enjoy your stay. Milk. Hello. And last but not least, of course we need the beds. And of course, they have to be red beds. Like, you can't have a homely feeling house without the red bed. Like, white beds are just so awkward and uncomfortable. And so, just like that, the shack is now complete. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Hooray. So now if I'm working on a shop somewhere maybe, and then I've got some stone, I need to do some stone slabs, so I don't want to have to go all the way back to my base just to craft some stone slabs. I can just pop into my base, away from base, use the stone cutter, and yeah, that's pretty much just everything in here anyone could possibly need. Alright, now this is done, I say we contact Dr. Shu and talk about some plans for the carrot revolution. I see the um, troops have made some advancements on the shopping district. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they took out the uh, dimension eye. Oh, and... yeah, yeah. Alright, so now OG can't get back to Mocraft. Is, nope. is, is that the plan? Just trap. Well, trap my ology? my plan is to uh take out the entire police station, um, or not necessarily the station, but you know the the people that you know are in the station. Oh, all right. So is Fred next? Um, hopefully. So yeah, I was just gonna kind of put some TNT because I have plenty of that somewhere under the entrance and get some trip wires or something and. Kablooey. Problem solved. Probably. <laughs> nah. And then, I, I need to also start, like, an advertising campaign. Not an advertising campaign. A, a propaganda campaign? Propaganda. I don't really know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. Because right now, uh, it's kind of just me plus your funding it. That's <laughs> essentially what it is at this point. <laughs> Alright, um, no, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yep. How about and... how about this, right? What 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 we're really fighting for is not chaos. We're fighting for the justice of carrots, right? Yes. So I'm thinking, right? We take out both the police officers, so the, mm -hmm. no one on the realm has any defense anymore, really. And then we force them to either sign a treaty to never eat carrots again, or we destroy everything. Okay. Yeah, I reckon we can take it. I, re I reckon that's fine. Alright, so um, that sounds good. Yeah. Alright, I'll grab some redstone replies. You set up like an area in the police station. Probably at the entrance, right? Yeah, at the entrance. Uh, Alright, I reckon 16 TNT should do it. That should be more than enough. That's a lot of TNT. <laughs> exactly. That's a lot, lot of TNT. <laughs> yeah, this, this wasn't me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Presumably a creeper. I'm just gonna fix it up with some stone, because why not? Ta da! Fix! a mine in the middle of the shopping district here. Wait, what? I think this is just a mine. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I mean, what? It's as good a spot as any, I guess. There is the doors to the door to Ology's office has a pressure plate above, so yeah. you might want to be a bit careful. When, um, Let's just remove that. <laughs> yep. Man, I guess he's not coming back, so we don't uh, really need his office anymore. Do we? No. Alright, grab that, grab that, grab this. Yeah, I've got to put the string in. We probably shouldn't put the string in yet. Yeah, it's a good point. That is a good idea. Just right. get rid of all the string. <laughs> oh. Alright, so. To work out where the TNT is. Oh no, I've got 16. It'll be off center. I'll, I'll place down 15 no, of it. See it. <laughs> that is literally the point of this the whole thing that he doesn't see it. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I think. So. Alright, wait, wait. Before I start placing down the TNT, actually, let's remove any hazards that we can see, such as this pressure oh. plate here. Any things that give off redstone? Uh, I can't. I, there's probably a. There's a pressure plate here. On the other side there. On the ground floor, I don't think there's anything else. 
All right, cool. Is this gonna take out the whole police station? Hold on, does Fred carry around a totem? Oh, probably. That could be a problem. Hmm. Um. Hmm. That's okay, I'll just, I'll just ask Fred to not carry a totem and walk into the police station. <laughs> <laughs> No, that won't be that. suspicious. That, it, he'll be like, oh yeah, sure, Isaac. I'm sure you've got something good planned. Yep. Just a friendly prank. Yeah. Assassination. Not an assassination. It's, it's a just a friendly assassination. There's no string on genealogy, Oh, what? You, you should probably top it up. Oh, yeah. Wait, actually, were you, were you the one that was originally put in? No, I wasn't. I yeah. didn't know who did that. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta check it will reach across all the TNT or else it could destroy its items. 1, um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, there was a signal will reach. Why well, do you... that's... that can... When what? you said test that, I thought you meant, you know, test Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got very worried. <laughs> you know, just, just a quick test to make sure it works. Alright, so now I guess we gotta cover up the floor. Oh wait, wait, is this less than 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. Yeah, what? 12, 13? That should be fine. Let's just cover up the floor. That is not the right wood. No, stop! 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 <laughs> no, don't! I keep, I'm very scared of putting down all the string here. Wait, no, don't put down the string yet. <laughs> I've left one gap, so it shouldn't have to be again. Alright, good. That being said, I'm just going to walk through the gap now. Alright, um... Oh, Maybe get on this side before you put the last one down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Or I can put it down now. No, I don't. Don't put it down, I'm about to walk over it. No! Oh, <laughs> no, oh, it's, um... Alex! What are you doing? No! Alex! <laughs> that Alex! Kill me. Alex! Do you know what happens when you sever the line? Yes, I know full well what happens. <laughs> it activates! Oh no! Uh. We may have to try a more creative method then. Also, what, what are we going to do about this? Um... <laughs> I don't know, we can just blame it on the janitor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Alright, hold on, wait, I need, I need a sign. That is not how you spell janitor. <laughs> oh, Oops, oh, sorry, oh. from the janitor. <laughs> Alright, yep, that works. Let's just let's <laughs> yeah, leave okay. before we're, we're seen here. <laughs> yep. How about this? Rather than killing, or like, um, eliminating Fred, we threaten to eliminate Thread, Fred as the next step if they don't sign our treaty. Ooh, yeah. Except we can't because... Yeah, but it's a bluff, you see. Yeah. Alright, we need to Do must make, make something out of diamond blocks because it draws attention. Also needs to be in the shape of a carrot. A blue carrot. A diamond oh, carrot. I, have a I mean, look, if there's golden oh. carrots, why can't they be diamond carrots? Fair enough. I have some emeralds if you want a... Um... Oh, yes, yeah, so that would be good. I feel like this here is a big part of the me funding it part. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Alrighty, right now, science. Greetings, carrot eaters. How else am I meant to greet them? No, 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 that's a good greeting. It's being polite while also calling them out on their. Mm, yeah. um, on their terrible uh, ways. There we are. Greetings, carrot eaters. You may have noticed that the dimension I has been destroyed. This means that ology is trapped in Oakcraft. Fred is the only thing standing between you and utter destruction. F. <laughs> it <laughs> censored the word, word but. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this is. <laughs> this is a PG what realm, okay? This? You can't be throwing around the word but, okay? That's disgusting. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> 
Ah, hey, you said it again. That's Sorry. that's two strikes. Three strikes and you're out. Sorry. Oh, well, I'll just leave that. <laughs> yeah. I have a proposal, a trophy. You stop eating carrots, including golden, and I call off the revolution. Your choice. Nice. Very dramatic. This is a winning move. We're going to restore justice to, to carrot kind. Yep. Alright, well, as you know, we kind of sent Ology way into um the alternate dimension known as Oakcraft, and, um, uh, well, I've received a little book here. I don't know how he managed to get it to arrive right here. Maybe it came through in a, a portal or something, but, um, yeah, it's here, and I think it's, like, a, a good ending to the whole rescuing Josh story, so let's read it. Dear Isaac, I've decided to stay in Oakcraft with Josh and the others who were left there. Apparently it wasn't as destroyed as we thought it was, and everyone has started a new civilization there. While I have heaps of fun with you and your friends, I think it's about time that I get back to my friends. I'll never forget you, any of you. You've all been nothing but kind to us, and I thank you for that. Take care of yourself and everyone else. They all look up to you. I don't know if they do, but sure. I'll see you later, maybe, if you decide to come to Oakcraft. Many thanks. Ology. Alright, well, the rest of the realm saw a message that we left them over there. Um, threatening war. No, of course, they didn't want war. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they agreed to sign a treaty that we have made over here, right? This is what it says. It says, On behalf of the me and the boys realm, we solemnly swear to never eat, abuse, or disrespect carrots of any kind. Signed, Dr. Shu and Impendent Fred. And so that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye. Yeah.